Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about web design and HTML coding specifically. Now I know in past videos you've heard me um, go on my rampages and tirades about the fact that coding is not web design, coding is not web design, coding is not web design, right? But I do want you to remember that I've been hand coding since I was about 13, 14 years old, so I've been doing that more than half of my life. And that's part of the context of me saying that, is that I understand the importance of coding, but I also understand and know way too many coders and programmers that make uh, websites and apps and user interfaces that no one will ever use. And it's because they don't think about the design from the standpoint of, gee, did I make this so that a genius like me can use it? Or did I make something that my mom or my kid could use without thinking about it? And see, that's the problem, is uh, it has to be that form does follow function, but design and user interaction and user interface is an important part of function, especially today. So I want to, one, say something in defense of hand coding, as somebody who does hand code, is that I absolutely think you should use and learn HTML if you intend to be a serious and professional web designer, especially if you plan to work at a company or a corporation or in-house anywhere. But with that in mind, I would say that if you want to be a web designer, not a web developer, a web designer, that in addition to learning HTML and hand coding and CSS, that you need to learn color theory, you need to learn about typography, you need to learn about the nuances of web typography, you need to learn about image optimization for web, you need to learn the difference between RGB and CMYK, you need to learn when it's appropriate to use a JPEG versus a PNG, you need to learn why many of us stop using animated GIFs, and uh, why sometimes it's still okay. You need to learn why we don't utilize Adobe Flash to do animation and things, and why we use things like um, CSS3 animations now, and why we use things like the Adobe Edge Animate workflow. You also need to learn that sometimes HTML is not the solution that your clients need. Sometimes your clients will need a WordPress website that still uses HTML and PHP, but is going to have less of an emphasis on that and more on the content management and replacing the images, typography, color schemes, etc., logos. And that sometimes a client will need Squarespace. They absolutely will just need Squarespace to get going and to get started. Sometimes a client or a boutique or um, a creative agency head is going to need you to do something in Adobe Muse. And it's not for you to debate with them about why HTML is better. It's for you to execute on the solution that is appropriate to the context of what they are asking and paying you to do as best as you can. So if you pigeonhole yourself by the skills and the tools that you feel just the most comfortable with, then you're limiting yourself and your opportunities and you're also limiting who you can work with. But if you make yourself adaptable, and a lot of people mistake this for being a jack of all trades, which I don't believe in that phrase for the most part. If you make yourself adaptable and flexible, you're more scalable, you're more marketable, you will have a stronger career, you will have a, a better chance of being hireable, you will be less likely to be on the chopping block when it's time to let people go, so that if they decide to downsize in one area, you still have value for someone in another area. And that's important too. So if you're thinking about job and career prospects, I want you to keep those things in mind. So should you use and learn HTML coding? You absolutely should if you wanna be a web designer. You absolutely should be learning that. Uh, I learned it at 13. I wouldn't say that it was hard or difficult or challenging, but I would say that's a lot to remember, just like learning a new language like French or Spanish or German or Italian, that you need to learn the structure and the rules that go along with it, but you also need to learn I would say how to use it conversationally. And what that means in terms of coding in HTML is you need to learn not only how to code a website, but when and why to code a website and how to do so without compromising visual aesthetic and the things that users care about and make sure that it does need to look good. It can't just work and be functional. It has to look good and it has to make sense and people have to be able to use it effectively for what they're trying to get done and have a good experience because no one wants to sit there and mess with a website that they're frustrated with no matter how effective it is on the back end. No one cares about how pretty your code is commented and semantic. Users don't care about that. 
Programmers, web developers, IT guys will wax poetically about that, but they're not end users and they're not buying anything. And half the time they're not paying for this stuff. So you really need to think about the marketing implications. You need to think about end users and you need to think about clients and what they want and you need to deliver for them instead of being romantic about your execution. And that's my advice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you still have questions, leave those in the comment section below. If you don't agree with me, we can discuss it, but I encourage you to remember that we're adults and we need to take responsibility and have an adult and polite conversation without being super negative toward each other or um, you know, name calling or anything like that. I would say just be grownups about it. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today with or without HTML code.